All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. I am back from my trip to Utah once again. So uh, this is going to be split up into three videos. I'm going to tell you guys about the experience and then how the regionals actually went. I'm going to split up in two parts because there's a lot of details to talk about and as such. Uh, but anyway, uh, once again, went to Utah. This is uh, my fourth time. Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to Utah. I probably, at this point, I might actually go to Utah more times than I've been to even California, you know? And I, I mean, I live in Vegas right there. Uh, but overall, it was, it was a pretty fun experience. It was a pretty fun experience. Uh, as I said, I will go into more detail about the tournament so, uh, later. So if you're like, hey, 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 I'm a tournament guy, ah, you gotta wait for that. You gotta wait. Uh, this opening hand is actually pretty decent. It really is. Uh, this is probably one of the better hands that I've ever got with this deck. I could summon this, special summon this, then make this eight. Like, the only thing that I gotta worry about, of course, is it is Ritual Beast, so the chances of me getting fucked up are pretty high, you know? Pretty high. You already know that this deck can, uh... It's like, hey, you got you got some, uh... Some of the monsters. They got that nice trap card. They got their both trap cards. Steeds and the uh, thing. Uh, this guy hosted and said no meta, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not playing meta. He's not really playing meta either. Oh, he's playing past meta. Yeah, there it is. I was waiting for the steeds. Yep, 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 yep. It's just like, bam. Yep. Didn't even search it, but I still get fucked up. So, awesome, awesome. Uh, I think at this point, I'll just go ahead and activate my uninterrupted slumber. So, I believe I get the first card, and you get the second one. So, yeah. Like, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I, but you know what? I probably should have, I probably should have, uh, probably should have... Uninterrupted slumber first. That way he wouldn't have the ritual beast on the field, so I couldn't get hit with the steeds. But I was gonna get it eventually, you know. Like I was just gonna get it eventually. So set this, set this, set this. He might have a twin twister during the end phase. I don't know, but anyway, twin twister. Oh, oh, ambush or that. Damn. So he opened up with. He opened up pretty well. He opened up with both of the, the trap cards without even searching. So. Pretty good on him. Pretty good on him, I must say. Uh, of course, Gold Sark with the uh, with uh, Ritual Beast is great. You know, it's one of one of the main decks that can take advantage of the cards going back up to three. Uh, he'll probably start trying to do his ulti cannon hawk shenanigans because, of course, it was what this deck does. It just ones up you with its traps, its ambush and its steeds. You know, ambush steeds, ambush steeds. You run out of resources, and then, you know that's game. But uh, see, your problem is, is that you only have one ulti cannon hawk, and I have strike. And strike is at three. Like, there's a reason why this deck can't do so hot. It's because you only have one out to can hot. Damn, and he had another, uh, another elder. Like, he opened up really well, really well. So, he might be able to handle me right now. <laughs> I mean, all I have is a 3,000 meter. I don't have any more backup. Like, that's it. That's it. And I'm just glad that I got rid of the out to can hot. But, you're playing this trip for a while. Uh, wondering, I took. Uh, a version of Cosmos. I took Cosmos again because uh, I got the Cosmos from Rennie and, they, and you know, everybody was allowing me to borrow a lot of cards. A lot, a lot, a lot of cards. You know, they're like, here, you can borrow these chairs. Here, you can borrow these, uh, you know, these uh, card demises and stuff like that. So I went with a, a card device version of Cosmos. I was talking about it. I was hinting at it for a while there. Oh, wow. And then he just ends. He's like, he's like, I, I don't have anything else. Uh, I mean, it's not like I could really do anything with the doll. Uh, this card is normal summon. So, you're a beast, you're a tamer, and you're a tamer. This card is normal summon. So, I should just take out the beast, because he can't really do anything with the two tamers. I'm actually surprised he didn't do anything else, you know? You get that additional normal summon, you don't do anything. You I talk about your bad draw, special summon. So, really, it's just this. Like, if I kill this, then he's not really doing anything. I could go ahead and get him in search of a, uh, of a kaiju, and... I mean, that's great. That kaijus, I mean, fuck up everybody, but it's really nice to go ahead and grab a kaiju against him where he'll, he'll like, want to separate out and I'll just be like, nah, yeah, I got that inherent some There's no chaining or triggering or none of that, so. Uh, despite these monsters being attack mode, like I said, they're not really a threat. The two tamers, I need, to, I need to make sure that he doesn't have a beast. You know, he has no beast and he ain't doing anything. Uh, he took that strike on that ult ulti cannon hawk and... You know, that's what people are like, man, with, you know, with my new monster, can I be meta? I'm like, no, no, you can't, because strike is at three. Maybe if strike is, like, limited, maybe you can probably pull off your combos and use that one up to Ken Hawk, but it's too risky. You got your one up to Ken Hawk for my triple strike and the warning, and Vanity's is going back up in popularity, too. You gonna turn them to defense mode? Yeah, so I think, I thought so, I thought so. So you, you caught that strike. It, it destroyed you. 
Ah, uh, I can't really do anything with my magnet at all either. Like, I would like to bust out like a rank play, but there's really nothing to do. Like, I could play reckless, but I'm good for right now. So we are, we're all playing ready to go. There's going to be eight of us on this trip, right? But at the last second, one of us, who, and one of and the big thing is one of us who was the driver, one of the driver of the two cars, pretty much said that uh, he couldn't go. He couldn't go. His wife said no. You know? uh, at first it was like money issues, but we're like, you know, we'll cover you. Just come. You know, you're a driver. You have to come. Wife said, absolutely, no, you're not going, which is weird. It's like at the last second. So rip on that. So he was driving the car with what with three other people with three other people in that car so without him going those other people couldn't go right so we were sitting there figuring what we could do uh and i mean i came up with what i think was a fine idea i said you know what wow man, wow and this man is still going strong he's still going strong for, despite the fact that he has not searched with Ulti Kenhawk once this duel, he's still drawing into plays. Okay, well, there's of course the window, so, you know, the, 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 the plays are still there. So if he wants to, wow, and then rips the defusion? Like, damn, man. Damn, the top decks are just too strong on this man. Too strong. Too strong. He, like, think about it, think about it. He didn't search for shit. He opened up the Steez, the Ambush, right? He got double Elder. He got the D, he drew into the D fusion, like he hasn't searched for shit, and yet he's going great. What do you banish for Gold Sark? I don't even remember what he did with Gold Sark. I think it was one of these monsters that he wanted to contact into. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> so I, you know what? I decided to go ahead and offer my car. I was like, I don't plan on driving. I definitely do not plan on driving. But if, uh, I was like, if you guys want to uh, possibly drive my car, then I will totally let you guys use it, you know? So, we pretty much split into two groups. And the plan the plan to split into two groups was uh, made even before. Did it say the sun card is into Gagar? This card is not sure, but not, doesn't, doesn't. So, you can just go ahead and summon his uh, Galapaleo, whatever his name is. Big guy. Yep, yep. Yep, attack over me. I take 200 and attack me with uh, 26, so. And I said, she, she is not good. She, I mean, she's not good. She is not bad. This card, the window is good. Some people are like, oh, no, she's ass. Like, no, no, she's good. She's good. She just, like, this guy is just getting super lucky. Like, despite getting hit with that strike, he's putting up a, a much a stronger fight than you, you know, expect out of him uh, with the possibility of not really being able to do much. So, Let's go ahead and pack out back into her and him, like, like, I shouldn't be getting my butt kicked this bad, but, you know, I got stopped with the steeds, couldn't break out of learning card plays, I have these two that aren't really doing anything in my hand, like, it's not looking too hot for me, but you're gonna, like, make, tag these into, like, a, uh, into, like, the dolphin, pedal fin, so I can't just regeki you. No, you're gonna make an XC play. Wow, lightning chidori. I'll chain it. Wow. Alright, well... I mean, I can handle this situation. Because <laughs> I could just give you this over that. No, he's just a scoop anyway. Uh, he put up a good right. He put up a good fight, but as I said, I just put that over that. Special summon this. Tack. You know. Like, this probably wouldn't even be a threat. I'd probably just, yeah, just attack the Chidori. You, this, you can have that. You, I mean, you will have that 3,000 boot. You can turn defense mode. So you can sit there for a while. And I can't drop the next two turns, but you just scoop. So, uh, we'll get another duel. Be right back. All right, another duel. So... Uh, we split up in two groups. I was in group A, not in my car, you know, who left Thursday night. Then group B, the people in the group, despite the car issues and the, you know, the person couldn't go, they were still planning on leaving Friday afternoon because the majority of them still had work, you know, on Friday. And they got the weekend off, but they couldn't get that out of that Friday. So, uh, I mean, this hand's fine. You know what? I said this hand's fine. Sounds actually great because I can pitch the doll and I want that in the graveyard anyway. So it's like this these day and age you just don't set two. You set two, you're pretty much asking for me to blow your ass away. Oh, it's ghost tricks. Oh, okay. So this duel is going to be interesting. Interesting to say the least. Uh we'll go ahead and play this, drop some I don't know, I got double of this. I mean two of these is very powerful. Hopefully I have enough kaijus to pull this off. I said this duel is probably gonna wow, wow, I've been just a nice chuck of my kaiju, so 
I get first, you get second. And also, I'm not searching anything with my slumber next time. Damn, he just scoops. Like, yep. Oh, well, yeah. All right, I'll get another duel. Be right back. Uh, you guys came here to see freaking gimmick puppets. I'm just busting out kaiju plays. I, I apologize. I apologize. Hope you guys don't destroy that dislike button. I don't want to bring it up, but you guys are destroying that dislike button as of late. Like, really, a lot. Like, I can't tell if it's trolls or what, but damn, all right? I get it. I get it. You guys commented the shit on my fucking video that I put up on Friday. Like, oh, you spelled fourth wrong. You spelled fourth wrong. You spelled fourth wrong. Yes, I know. But I had no access to a computer, and I can only change it on my computer. I apologize. I changed it. It's changed now. But oh my god, like, like you guys are you guys are some anal motherfuckers sometimes. Like, anyway, I didn't want to bring it up because then probably bringing it up will be like, oh my god, they bringing a fucking dislike. So I'm gonna fucking dislike. Like, that's what you want to do. <laughs> anyway, I mean, you gotta fucking come to the video and and you know I get a view to dislike it. So in the end, it's all about views. It's just like you know. If, you, if there's something you don't like, I'd much rather you guys comment and, you know, tell me. Wow, uh... <coughs> so I get to choose, right? Well, this only stops Inherent Summons, and this stops only Inherent Summons. Oh, I'm just fucking grandma. But I'm, not, I'm surprised you didn't show me, like, Psalm Strike and, you know, warning and shit like that, you know? And right now, if anybody should be getting fucking Grand Horn in Heaven right now, it's you fucking playing a Pendulum-based deck, so... But... So I'll probably go ahead and summon get Grand Horn or something along those lines. Like, I mean, he can Grand Horn ahead of my uh, my Kaiju, can he? I think he can. I think he can. I think it's inherent summon. I have to read the card, All right? So I know summon Odd Eyes and or Odd and A. Like, like I said, if anybody should be getting fucking hit with a horn, it's you. It's you. <laughs> so uh, I got these two. So. I could do that play. If anything, if I could just bait out the, the Grand Horn, that'd be pretty good. Because I, I can still just, just just do plays in the main phase, too. I'd probably say you're the biggest threat. You want to Grand Horn that? You can Grand Horn if you want to. to. Give me a card for somebody who wants to your side of field, draw a card, and push me, push me to battle phase? Like, sure. Sure. If anything, I would love if you did that. I, I need to get rid of this card. Like, I, if, if this doesn't work and he doesn't take the bait, I might desire and try to get a Twin Twister. I think that'll be my next course. Well, wow, wow, he actually did. He actually fucking went for it. Enter battle phase, enter main phase. Well, of course, enter battle phase, and then go to main phase. Uh, so I can just Kaiju. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna Kaiju you again, then make my uh, play, pop you with my rank up play, draw a card, and then when you punch him seven next turn, hit you with a strike. Like, like, yeah, and then you'll probably end up quitting. So you can go ahead and have that. I'll go ahead and normal summon this. I should summon this. Uh, looks like we might actually be able to do some gimmick puppet plays. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, we left out. They took my car and left out. Uh, my car is the straight up struggles. And especially for a trip, this is actually, I think, the first time, yeah, the first time that my car's ever went on a trip. And I wasn't even the one, you know, <laughs> using my car for the trip. I did not drive at all. The only time that I drove is to drive my car back home after we got from the trip. I did not touch my car. Even when uh, we were using my car to, you know, go around places, I wasn't the one driving. I freeze to drive. I drive my car all the fucking time. That's boring, you know? Like, I, I, I want to, you know, enjoy my trip, relax, <laughs> sit in the passenger seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my rank up version of my game pep the strings. So of course pop you, you'll take that twenty-two and I'll get to draw a card. Just awesome. And then there's really no point in leaving her here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, go into my seven sins. Who is of course pretty awesome. And now of course I can go ahead and grab this back. And I'll shimmy my game on that. I'll go ahead and drop my uh, big old spider. Defense mode. Oh wait, never mind. I was like, I thought it was four thousand, four thousand. Like, no, no, he's four thousand, three thousand. Okay, so I said I seriously doubt he'll be doing too much next turn anyway. So, so I'll just set a whole bunch of cards, and then you'll think that there's something there. There's something there. There's something there. There's something not there. So you're gonna get nice and fucked up. Nice and fucked up. So we went to a different hotel than we did the previous time and the previous time before that. And I said this is one in the middle between the first two times and the last time. You know. The last time one was like super nice, super nice. Uh, the first time it was like a quality inn, and then the second time it was one of the Helsing hotels, I forgot the name of it. And then this time it was like this home to hotel one. So that, that, that was nice. Oh. So you're just gonna try to fuse with the monsters? 
Okay, so you pop out eyes because you have another eyes. So you're gonna go ahead and summon Time Sword. What does he do? Uh, I don't think he really does anything. It's hard to summon. Up the turn, you can drive one out of monster. Banish this into one. Oh, so you're gonna banish both me and you. Okay. Like, I think I'm just gonna strike you because I think I'd rather just hold on to my materials. I'm gonna strike you, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, awesome! He struck me. You know, I can, I can do my plays now." And then you're gonna pendulum summon all. Oh, I'm like warning, and then you're gonna quit. Like that's that's exactly how it's gonna go down. Exactly how it's gonna go down. Yeah, just those two. You know, what? even that, even just those two is worth the warning. Like, nope, go away. End your turn. End your turn and quit. All right, so. Uh, if only I could do like a rank up play. Like, he didn't overextend and drop everything like I thought. Well, he can't even summon Unicorn. He could summon this, right? No, he can't even summon. No, he can't even. No, he summoned all he could. I was like, like I mean, you, could, you didn't summon those two. So I know you have the odd eyes in your hand. If I could end this duel, I'd probably overextend. But because I can't, there's really no reason to. Yeah. Which is really no reason, especially some days I really don't have anything else like. Twin Twister, that was the last duel. I was like, like didn't like Twin Twister and Picture anyway. That was no. That was awesome. So I'll just poke you for 4k. And I said you have odd eyes fusion, that's nice and all, but you're not doing anything with it. Now the scary thing is that you can like pop your shit, you possibly get new scales and then pendulum summon and make your odd eyes monster. That that'd be kinda scary. Like, I think that's the worst thing right now is that I can't end the duel and you still have your sky iris You can pop the shit you can you know easily pop this search pendulum scale pendulum summon again like no maybe not Maybe not maybe look like I might be okay because I think you need one more monster to pull off that play like that So you can go sky iris and you can blow this up and then you can search another phoenix and then You can pet the phoenix in the pendulum scale and then just pendulum summon another phoenix You know pendulum summon that phoenix and then block yourself so no, you're gonna grab odd eyes this time. Oh, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. He fits the scale, so just put the odd eyes. If anything, that's better. All right, there's obviously your fusion. And you can play odd eyes and then pendulum summon your phoenix and then search with your odd eyes during the end phase. So you're, you're still good. You're still good. I'm just hoping that I draw into something. So I, I mean, that's the pretty much the extent of your plays right now. Oh wait, no, never mind. Seven cents can fuck you up. What was I say? Like, oh, you can actually survive, but never mind. I could just go detach two and then banish and attach you and attack game. So that's just like a mirror force or something that you got. This is probably still in game, but that's striking warning for you. I mean, so so powerful, so powerful. Or got the seal. Like, this is, you know, it's all good. So seven cents. Go ahead and detach two and banish you and then attach you. Yum 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 yum. Delete your soul and then attack directly for game. So yay, give me puppets, be the pendulum based deck because strike and warning, so good. <laughs> Alright, we'll get one more duel, one more duel, I feel like one more duel, yeah. Alright, so, the trip was fun, you know, we were just a whole bunch of bros, everybody got along. Uh, there was no females this, this trip, you know, generally the last couple of trips there's at least been one girl, and they're kind of bland, like, they, like, they're only there to support their boyfriends, and with that, they don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, they're not really into it. Some of them are, some of them aren't, but in the end, they just kind of dragged the trip down. So, it was a soccer trash, it was just us eight guys, and you know what? It was awesome. It was awesome. You know, two different hotel rooms. Uh, the hotel rooms were, wow, he set one and surrendered, nigga. Alright, well, the sand was actually pretty decent, you know, trains are nice and stuff. Oh, we'll get a duel, bear back. Uh... There was, there was plenty of room, plenty of room. Uh, I got an entire queen size bed to myself, which I'm not used to a queen size bed, so despite, you know, having the whole bed to myself, I just slept on the one half of the bed, like I wasn't like sprawled out or anything like that. Uh, the beds were comfortable. Uh, I'd say my biggest complaint with the hotel room was probably the breakfast. It was really like, eh, like, ooh, Summoner Monk, that's fine. So, Summoner Monk pay costs, what am I doing is like heroes. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna max see you, and then you drop that shadow mist and shit like that, and you go dank and pick something on my hand and rip. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of gimmick puppets with this opening hand. Or not bad because I can like you know, uh, these two. These two are just working so well in tandem. These two are just the nice rank up play. So that's awesome. Feeler, of course, I really don't want in my hand. I'd rather have in the graveyard for his plays. And the Humpty Dumpty. It, it, it depends. It depends. Suzuki. Okay. Well, I'm gonna trade in so I can trade in my feeler. Wow, oh, you're just gonna give me one. All right, that's fine. Cause you know what? In the end, you stopped your plays, and that 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 is totally fine with me. So, 
Maybe draw them to my rank up card? Like, I'd be really, that'd be awesome. No, I didn't. All right, so. Uh, how much other ones are going to be? You can summon this card from your hand. I can summon Humpty, and then Humpty can summon Jury Doll, and then I can special summon Magnet Doll, and then go into a rank up play. You know, like, how strong are you? Dumpty? Never mind. I would say, I would say, Dumpty, how strong are you? You ain't, sh you ain't gonna do shit. Like, for a level four, your stats are fucking horrendous. Like, didn't know that. Um. So I could put a whole bunch of counters on my string, but I'm not even sure if a thing was survive. I'd like to kill both of them. Like, killing, killing both the Summoner Monk and the, the Mizuki is important. Uh. I don't think I can do that, though. Like, maybe with, uh, what's his face? Yeah, we can pop a grinder. Touch your human control and target one special monster opponent controls and pop it. I, I kind of want to get you in the graveyard, so I'll go ahead and do that play. The, bra the breakfast, uh, last hotel, which I, I, I think it was like a Hilton or something along those lines. Uh, one, of the, well, I think I think it's Hilton, but I can't remember the name, the actual name of the hotel. But I know it was like a, a Hilton hotel. Uh, and they made they made you the breakfast, and they had like you know fresh thing. This one was kind of like a little small area for breakfast. There was a crowd, of, oh, a ton of crowd of people. Oh wow, and you're gonna fucking max see me. Like all right, so makes me not even want to do anything anymore. Like I max see you, you max see me. Pokemon, you know, I teach you, you teach me Pokemon. Like I don't even want to do anything anymore. I really don't. Like I I'll pretty much allow you to even out. Like that sucks. So, Maxi is so good, so good. Maxi is so good. We are, we already knew that. You know, they, they either Maxi, Maxi is literally like such a good answer. It's like either you you stop your opponent in your tracks from a card from your hand, so that's freaking great, or they overextend and you allow them to draw and plus, you know, which is really good. So either or, either or, they're just you know they're just happy. So I could definitely see why Maxi was got semi limited. I wouldn't be surprised if they limited Maxi, because it's just that good. You still just splash it. And, you know, either way, it's just greatness. So I was gonna actually do some plays, but instead now I'm just gonna get my you know, my shit pushed in. So I said I definitely think he's playing the better deck. Cleared up my whole field too. Like wow. Wish I had my second Maxi, because I think he might just go do monkey. And now he's gonna do solitaire. Solitaire shot up in price, like. We already know, like those Dark Synchro Zombie decks, like, we already know. Uh, what do I have? I don't think I really have anything. I, I have my, I have this guy who can protect me, and I have this guy who can banish and summon. So I can do some rank 8 plays, that's pretty good, it's just, I, I literally have my rank up plays, like, strings without really anything to do, it isn't really shit, so. Well, of course, this guy's playing fucking zombies, so, you already know. <laughs> I already know zombies are starting to turn into the sh oh starting to turn to shit. They've always been pretty much a shit, and it's just like they continuously get you know more and more support. Now they got like you know Mizuki and shit. So wow, all three Mizukis are in this fucking game. Do you used to use Game Puppet Humpty Dumpty effect? What do you mean? Do I used, used to use the effect? Like like what? Like why would that ask me for Humpty Dumpty? That was weird. That was weird. I'll go ahead and take that, and then you'll go ahead and attack me with that. It's like. That would have been a pretty decent time to have my fucking Maxi plays, but I don't know. You gonna like make a Castell or something with these two? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm going to Omega. Yeah, I can put shit, shit back, pick shit out of my hand. You already know. He ain't even done. He's got multiple Miz Mizukis and stuff, so you can go ahead and summon the Unit Zombie back. Like this would be the turn where I wish I had fucking uh, Maxi, but so going to a second Omega. Omega should probably be limited. Like Omega should be limited. Like. Especially if Dark Synchro continues to persist and be fucking stupid and retarded, like, yeah, this shit should be probably fucking limited. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, he's gonna put both his Mizukis back, like, I'm, I'm screwed. I might as well scoop. Like, really? I, I, shit. I don't got anything. I don't got anything to fucking handle this situation. Like, maybe if I can bust out double spiders. Like, that's, that's the thing that I'm thinking about doing right now. If I could bust out double spiders and then maybe bait him with, um... With like a strings or something, you know? Because I could probably bust out two strings and then bait him with two strings. So I think that I should probably just play everything out of my hand right now. Oh, so I can like let's see. You could just be special summoned whenever you want. So that's pretty decent. I'm just kind of wondering if he's gonna like pick something out of my hand like immediately. So I'm thinking about 
like normal summoning you, special summoning you, special summoning you. Like, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll bait with double strings, and then he'll have to he'll have to lay or whatever, and then and then I can go into double spider and then tap tap game. So I might have this. I might actually have this. So. Uh, I can go ahead and special summon you. Anything? Anything? <laughs> like I said, with just, a, with just your two Omegas, I might be able to have this. Uh, but it was like microwave breakfast, like, oh, microwave bagel, microwave the sandwiches, you know. No, no, it wasn't nothing fresh cooked, so. It's just gonna go ahead and hop out of the way and then pick both the cards out of my hand, like, okay, so. I'll just go ahead and copy you so you become eight. And I'll go ahead and summon Jury Doll. Can I only go into Gimmick Puppets if I summon her? It's Carcon I used to summon kind of Gimmick Puppets, so. Then, no, so, I'm good. So I'm going to you. Wow, so you got Triple Mizuki, Double Omega, all of that good shit, and you're still gonna end up losing. <laughs> wow. I think this is a pretty good video. I think this, I think this video came out fine, you know? He's like, are you playing too? Like, hell yeah, I'm fucking playing too, motherfucker. Like... Oh, uh, spider, 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 spiders. Seven sins. And seven sins. GG. GG. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I, uh, we're, we're done with this. We're done with this. I said, let's go look up Battle Fighter or something. This game. Uh, you thought you had, had me. You thought you had you had the triple mizukis and the double megas. You thought you fucking had me, nigga. And I was like, nah, nah. Give me a puppet. I can bust out these big ass spiders, boy. Uh, so it was just the, like the the fucking they had like this egg McMuffin cheese sandwich that you microwave and and yeah, it fucking made me want to gag. Like the smell was just fucking disgusting. I was like, Ugh, you know. Uh, I just had like a bagel for breakfast. Like I really didn't eat breakfast. I really didn't eat breakfast. Um, you know, the ride there was fine. You know, I didn't take my laptop. I mostly just had my phone. I had my DS and I had Monster Hunter, but I get car sick when I play Monster Hunter, so I didn't really do that. I, read, I was reading my manga. I'm reading uh, Seven Deadly Sins. I watched all the anime. It was a great anime. If you ever watched Seven Deadly Sins, watch it. It's a good anime. Now I'm reading the manga, trying to catch up on that. Uh, so I really wasn't too bored, you know. Uh, there were five people in our car and going to and coming back because my car there were some hefty guys no offense But we could not shove all of them into you know, one car. So we're like, you know We're like the rule is you know only two hefty guys per car So we had to have two hefty guys in our car and then two hefty guys in, the, in my car and then uh, my friend Wiener's car and uh, so sometimes the with me and one of the skinnier gentlemen, you know, we uh switched out so one of us we sat bitch we sat in the side you know we switched out really no complaints no complaints uh food was great we actually went to this uh restaurant they called they had it's called d's no, i should you not d's so we had this running joke with this you know like, so this restaurant d's i heard that they have exquisite nuts because of course d's nuts right we went to the restaurant one of us didn't get the joke so we went to the restaurant and the waitress came over he asked he's like so i heard that you had these exquisite nuts Oh my god, it was like the most embarrassing thing ever. And the witch just was like, what? I don't understand. And he, j he just didn't get the joke, right? It was so embarrassing. Uh, but we had burgers. Burgers are my favorite. Like, if, if you ask me, Daniel, what's your favorite food? Burgers and fries, man. Burgers and fries are my favorite food. So the burgers were great. It was awesome. Um, what else to talk about? Usually I would get like a whole, whole bunch of uh, Sobeys from, um, from New Talk because they're generally cheaper. They're on sale for like 69 cents. The sale wasn't there, so they were like a dollar sixty nine. I'm like, wow, that's even more expensive than Vegas. So without the sale, you ain't shit. So I didn't get my Sobeys like I usually do. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of if I talked about everything outside of you know the tournament, you know, outside of actually locals from my experience. Actually, it's going to be a three part. Um, outside of that, the trip there was fine. Trip back was fine. We ate a lot of foods. We hung out. It was, it was just a bro time. It's bro time, you know. So outside of that. I pretty much don't have anything to say. We wanted to go swimming in the pool, but we didn't. Yeah, I didn't bring my trunks anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so it was a fun trip, you know. If I would definitely go again and again and again and again. Yeah, even if I don't do well or if I do do well, Utah would redress. It's not about the Yu-Gi-Oh. The Yu-Gi-Oh is what gets the incentive to go on the trip, but in the end, what uh, the ends of the means is that we have a lot of fun. 
So, like I said, I'll be back on Wednesday to talk about part one, about how the regionals went, and then on Friday we'll talk about part two. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be tagging, playing with the Mech Lord Death Trying that again. All right, people. Thanks for watching.